My guest is not only a very funny man, but he's also the star of his own new hit series. It's called Chicken Soup. It debuted last week, and uh, we've got a clip. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Chicken Soup. That's some antler span, huh? Oh, yeah, that's a beautiful span. You know, I saw spans all over the world, but not like this. This is the top span. <laughs> of all the spans, I would say there's no such span any place. I don't care where <laughs> You know, over the fireplace of my house, uh, we have a picture, too, a picture of my Aunt Esther from Krakow. Come to think of it, they could be sisters. Are you ready? Jackie Mason! Thank you. I'm a hit again. <laughs> Let's talk about this show. Uh, it, it did well. It not only did it do well, it's a sensation. <laughs> People can't get over it. It's the biggest hit in the history probably of the country. I don't want you to eat your heart out, but nobody could get over it. Now, it's a hit. I know you hit. got your own troubles, but this is it. <laughs> do you feel like talking now? Is that it? Well, yeah, let's talk. Okay. It... You're not that busy. What else are you going to do now? <laughs> because it's a hit, are you going to ask for a raise? From you? No, no. <laughs> the network i'm not that type of person i can't stand the people who decide to ask for raises after they make a deal mm -hmm. and the deal is a certain deal and as soon as they do good all of a sudden i'm nauseous unless i get more money i'm passing away unless <laughs> i get this i need seven more cars nine more homes they're very sick low class people to do that you made a deal you should stick with it mm -hmm. that's right i'm not like you i don't know if you heard about it <laughs> <laughs> you know when See, you're going to tell you the truth celebrities okay. in my opinion really abuse their, their status as celebrities all over this country. Mm -hmm. They really abuse their status as celebrities. No. I see this happening all the time. Uh, celebrities all, like, take a look what happened just now with Jaja Gabor. Hmm. Don't you think it's disgusting what she just did? It's literally disgusting. <laughs> I don't believe, I don't believe in committing a person before they're proven guilty, and maybe she didn't do it. And if you're stupid enough to believe that, you'll believe anything. <laughs> <laughs> she walks over to a cop and slaps him in the face. Mm -hmm. And you hear what she says? Oh, I didn't mean to slap him. His face happened to be there. That's not my fault. <laughs> when he stopped me, I didn't know what he was doing. I thought he, were, he wanted to take me someplace. I didn't know where he was going. So I, did. So I wanted to follow him. I saw such a gorgeous man. When I saw how gorgeous he was, I said, Oh, there's nobody so gorgeous. Oh, yes, he gorgeous. I got it. <laughs> And he said to me, he said to me, he said to me, listen, I have to charge him. I said, he's not going to charge me. I charge him. I <laughs> That's not nice to say. <laughs> I want to tell you the truth. If she was, she is an American citizen. Mm -hmm. And uh, nobody knows why. <laughs> <laughs> and she ought to, I think she ought to thank God she's living in this country. Uh, listen, I have a foreign accent, but I thank God I'm here. And I would never slap a cop in the face. And everybody says, well, after all, it's a woman, what could you do to her? Because she's supposed to be weak, and she, because she can't fight with a man, she has a right to punch him in the mouth. What if I walked over to Mike Tyson because I'm not so hot? Because I'm in this condition. Look how I look. Not too perfect, right? I'm not exactly a great threat. I'm not exactly a great threat to Mike Tyson, am I? No. no. Hello? Are you listening to this? Yes, I am. <laughs> But all of a sudden, I, I got this strange fear because Mike is over there, and I was hoping you'd do the right <laughs> joke. <laughs> He's standing over there, but go on, go on. Uh, don't worry, he saw me. He got very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> he heard about my right hand. If the wind is with me, I could kill someone. <laughs> <laughs> but the truth of the matter is that that's no excuse to take advantage of, of your weakness or your femininity that, uh, that you could therefore punch a guy in the mouth and walk away with it. Yeah. Why don't you try this in Hungary where she comes from? I would love her to be in Hungary and walk over to a cop and punch him in the mouth. I'd love her to do that. You think he'd ever lift us here again? <laughs> That's right. She'd wind up in Siberia with somebody with chains over her and whips. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like to talk about people. It's not my nature. Well, let me tell you something, though. Let, let me tell you something. When you're in the limelight, people are going to talk about you. And, and I don't want... I, I probably shouldn't bring this up, but Mr. Carson uh, yeah. did a joke after your uh, show premiered. 
Yeah. Uh, and, and made reference to the fact that you look like the kind of guy who's never had sex before. He can't really buy it. <laughs> I mean, you know, and, and the doctor did that. Mr. Carson did that. And I mean, you know, what can I say? Mm -hmm. He beats with a man or with a woman? <laughs> what does he beat? What? I can't. Oh. What does he beat? I never had sex before. I think it's a lot of life to say that. See, I didn't hear the joke. Somebody no, told no, me. No, I'm not that talking he did about you. I'm not talking. I talk about him to say. I hope I quoted it right because no, I don't no, want you I to jump I, on Mr. Carson. No, because if I never had hey. sex before, there's a lot of people around who would be very nervous about what was going on in that room at the time. <laughs> I look like a sexless person to him. Is that what, that's what he's probably saying? I think that's the gist of it. How come I didn't look so sexless to him when I was on his show? When I, when I started to do your show, I all of a sudden looked not too appealing. <laughs> but I want to ask you a question. Let's be honest about it. He was married, he was married about 12 times. That means 11 people weren't that crazy about him. He's married now, it's not nice to say that. Although I heard she's looking for my number, but I won't be there. <laughs> I, don't think, I don't think it's nice for him to say that, because even if he believed it, that it doesn't look like Lynn Redgrave would be attracted to me, even if I'm the worst looking person in the world, I don't think it's very tasteful to him to say that, because I think it's a new show starting out, and just because I'm in prime time and he's still working 12 o'clock at night. <laughs> hey, wait, but he worked the same time I work, man. Wait a second. Wait a second, but at least you're new on the job. <laughs> He's got that job after 30 years. And the point is, the point is that I don't think it's good taste to say that about a new show, to try to make it sound unbelievable so that nobody should, should get involved in watching a show that they might get excited about if he didn't lost it up. I, think, I don't think it's a very good humor, and I think it's a tasteless thing to say. And I say this for another reason, because I'm not doing his show anymore, I'm doing yours. <laughs> I got, well, let's be honest. If I'm unbelievable having sex, you think he's believable to me as a talk show host? He's not believable to me. Either. And I never said that about him. I never said that about him. <laughs> Did I ever say he was unbelievable as a talk show host? Never said it. Um, See, you look believable to me. You know why? Because you don't look like you're made out to go to work for a living. For you, it's perfect. You, you look comfortable sitting on a couch. Everybody... <laughs> Everybody loves you. You know what everybody loves about you? This is what I hear every single day, more than anything else. That you know how to listen. They don't know you got nothing to say. <laughs> we'll take a commercial. We'll be back with Jackie Mason.